he snake on me. Okay. Um, let me see if there's anything crazy going on in chat. Oh, man. His cons didn't get a chance. Thank you for the other day. Yeehaw, dude. Um... Alright, well, I don't know. So, okay. Uh, Alright, so we have ranked game. It's gonna be a Kaga time. game. Well done times three. I think this is over on the Asian server. 2DDs start now with rocket planes. Once again, as always, with ranked, the first thing you want to do, you want your safe cap before they take their safe cap. And that is exactly what we see here. Fighters are inside the cap, so if the DD enters the cap, it will spot them. That resets. Fighter destroyed. So that does put your Kitakaze in front of theirs, and you're probably going to take a blind shot. When you're doing this, you actually want to alter. You want to move left and right. Um, <laughs> evidently, I got criticized for this, but uh, I'll wiggle the mouse to try to keep the reticle large because at this point, you're not trying to bingo a bitch. You're just trying to get resets. So the larger the reticle, the better, the more spammy it is. But you could also use uh, A and D to try to widen the reticle by using the hard turn commands of the keyboard. But you need to be sure about that because if you don't stop and catch your line before this thing locks in, you you'd be stuck off on a on a stupid line that you can't correct for. Okay, well, that resets, so that worked out. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Okay, so I have to I have to criticize the use of the well i'm sorry i'm thinking ap bombers like shikaku They're trying to bomb the akazuki well people that do like kaga do like to bomb destroyers so concentrate fire on the designated target three the fuck okay sure Stations. That drop Resting didn't look like three, but okay. Um, I'm actually surprised you're not torping the Akazuki here. Cause like you have a, you've got a great line. Now you see the Akazuki. Are you too close. Well, reticle's off, so two two into that's pretty big. Akazuki's having a real bad day. Uh, I think I would probably come out with rockets, because you have to, you know, it's RNG to get a bomb. It's reticle placement to get a rocket. 1500. Uh... I don't- I don't know what I saw there. That was odd. Um... Well... You got some fires on the Veneto, so that's cool. But I don't know why you didn't bomb the Musashi. I think you originally brought it out to try to hit the Akazuki, but the Akazuki smoked. So then you took a line on the Musashi, and you avoided the line on the Musashi, and you went for the Veneto while just getting shot. That was confusing, um, but you hit the Veneto. But the Musashi is the focus target right now. Okay, so before we go further, one, two, three, four, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Udaloy is dead. This is where all the enemies are. You're flying over here to the Kitakaze, I guess to give him a fighter. Kitakaze should have smoke. 
So the Kitakaze should be fine. Um, the longer you're not putting damage into the Musashi, the longer he has to damage Khan and heal. I mean, theoretically, if you bombed the Musashi, he'd be lit on fire right now. Because, I mean, it's likely that the Kaga sets fires. And either have to damage Khan it or be burning. I think you stay on that. There's no destroyer, there's nothing to bully the Kitakaze, the only thing that can is the CV, and the Kitakaze has smoke. You might not want to use smoke, you might want to, like, you know, shoot some shit or whatever, but once he goes in here, if he sees these rocket planes diverting, he hits the smoke key and he's fine. The fighter, um, could save him a smoke, but I don't know, I think, I mean, y'all are down on health, this is still an awkward position that y'all are in. I think you you got to you got to get this off the board. You know, get the Akazuki down, get the Musashi down, reduce the threat level before you worry about running off into the middle of nowhere to give the Kitakaze a fighter. Cuz like the CV's not even paying attention to this dude. CV's over here striking the lightning. CV's focusing, you know, eyes on the prize. Means he's going to lose uh, he's going to end up being back capped, but so now you've called attention to the Kitakaze. The rocket planes get shot down, which is nice. I mean, the Kitakaze called attention to himself. He took the cap. Some damage into the Azuma. I think you might have some ping issues right now. So maybe that's what happened with the Musashi. Like, it just freaked out and you ended up overflying, so then you turned in and you took the shot you could, because whatever happened with the Azuma, that looked like ping issues as well, so maybe that's what's going on. That would make more sense. Yeah. Akazuki. Akazuki. Nobody cares about the Veneto. Okay, well he's dead to the Kitakaze, which is good. Musashi is the thing that has the most damage put into him. It's probably the lowest on heals, the lowest on some kind of responsiveness. Get off the Veneto. Go for the Musashi. This is the scariest motherfucker in the map. Fighter destroyed. Attention, reporting the target position. You can't kill this. I don't... I mean, the Musashi has the assistance of the North Carolina, but you are in a Kaga. You have 25 torp planes left. If this is a one-way trip, you go ahead and pre-drop, come over, drop the Musashi. Then lift off, pre-drop, come over, drop the Musashi. These are the guys that are moving toward a cap. This dude is not doing shit. This dude is sitting in the cap, not moving forward, not pressuring, and is going to come under the gunfire of an Amagi. You've got to get people off the board. The Akazuki got taken out, which is good, but the Musashi should have already been dead, probably like three to four minutes ago. The fighter down here for the for the DD didn't do anything other than maybe save his smoke. He was able to shoot the, the DD down, which is cool. But you've got... In, when you're a CV, if you think of it this way, a battleship that fires once half, like every 30 seconds, half a minute, if you have a game that goes 20 minutes long, you don't shoot for the first minute because you don't see anything. Maybe the first two minutes, which means you have 36 shots, 36 to 38 rounds, you know, attempts to salvos, I'll say, to do something. And if you hit one for 4K, hit another one for 10, miss the third one, miss the fourth one, whatever. It's slowly you're, you're influencing the game, you're, you're taking the shots, you're doing whatever. Often the threat of your shot is terrifying enough that people will just avoid doing something because they don't want to get shot in the face by a battleship. But you have 38 interactions in a battleship. With a CV, you have something like 15. Maybe more, depending on if the AA sucks. Maybe less, if depending on if the AA is great. Maybe less if you don't really have a good attack line and you just spend time looking for the attack line. You can't find it, but you only have, say, 15 interactions, plus or minus five. So you need those interactions to matter. 
you know, if that TD uh, in the south, the Kitakazi was under direct fucking threat, you get there and you hero, you know, you Superman save the day, get that dude's ass out of danger. But don't waste time being Superman for somebody that's just sitting waiting for the bus. They don't need any help right now. They're okay. Meanwhile, elsewhere, there's a building on fire or there's some killed, uh, you know, some children being attacked by a nun. These are the things that you as Superman need to fly over and to do the thing for because the person waiting for the bus, you know, they probably got their phone out. They're derping around looking at Twitter. It's okay. Anyway, we're going to keep going, but this is, this looks extremely unrecoverable at this point. And the best that I could see is you hammer that Musashi over and over and over again. Because right now, this Musashi has probably burned easily through three heals, maybe even all four. This is this is the thing to go after. I'll drop a fighter for the Imagi, cool. Musashi is now wrapping on the Imagi. It's gonna get pinch played. So the Musashi's AA is almost non-existent, so you're effectively striking what is basically just a North Carolina. Strike once, get some flood. Strike again. Coming back out with even more torp planes. Gonna keep working on the Musashi. I mean, he's got excellent torpedo protection, but you can just hound this bitch. He's in the open water. You're striking him. You got floods. Cool. There's a North Cal. You can start working on that. But in the time that it took to deal with this shit, all your dudes are dead. <laughs> like, it just took too long. It took too long to matter. I think the question was like, you know, this is a game had 150 some thousand damage in Akaga and we lost. The enemy is about to you, win. you are like an acupuncturist. You have to apply pressure to, you know, the sweet spots of the match to be able to get the outcome you're looking for. You know, if you're a chiropractor and somebody says my back hurts, if the first thing you do is start fucking with their ear, it's not really gonna resolve the problem. All right. Okay, so that's done.